So in the world of boxing, if an opponent knows what to anticipate from his opponent, he has an edge. In war, if a country facing another enemy can anticipate which side that enemy is going to attack from, this person has an edge. If you, the entrepreneur, can anticipate what you are guaranteed to face in the world of business, you have an edge. So my goal today is to give you an edge over everybody else who doesn't watch this video and you're smart watching this value team video here with me. So 10 challenges every entrepreneur will face. Number one, you got to learn the nine to five sacrificing your salary. That is a challenge you're going to face. Let me tell you, when you go from having a salary that's coming in, it's warm, it's fuzzy, it's a nice comfortable pillow, you got benefits, you got all this stuff, and then you say, I'm going to be an entrepreneur, you have to sacrifice your salary. Benefits, health insurance, no matter what income, worst case scenario, you're going to make your five grand a month, worst case scenario, you're going to make your eight grand a month, that is out the window. You will have to anticipate this happening. Next uh, is, uh, is uh, your, uh, your uh, capital management. What do I mean by capital management? Time clock on how much you've saved and what your expenses are, you're going to hear it constantly, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. The way you manage your capital will allow you to stay in business long enough to make it as a business owner if you know how to manage your capital properly. It doesn't matter if you're a real estate agent, if you're a technology company out of Silicon Valley, or if you're running a liquor store, you will need to know how to manage your capital yourself to stretch it as long as possible. Next, processing issue. This looks pretty bad. Look, actually, this looks like a horror movie right here. Luis, this looks pretty intense. It says solve for X. Let me tell you what that, that is. You will have to process many unknown issues that you've never experienced before. You've never experienced before. How do you do this? I don't know how to work this hard. I don't know how to handle this issue before. I never knew I needed this insurance policy to be able to do this event at a hotel. I never knew my requirements to be able to get a lease in a building was this, that I have to spend another $7,000. I never knew I needed to do this other part that's going to cost me $17,000. How come nobody told me about this stuff before? Anticipation. It's going to happen. So if you don't know how to solve for X, these, ex these situations you're going to go in, you're going to have a hard time with it. But you need to anticipate. There will be many issues, unknown issues, that you need to solve that no one else is going to prepare you for. Next, your team building. How are you going to put a team together? How good of a recruit are you going to be? How good are you at bringing solid talent, operations, systems, sales, technology, compliance? How are you going to do that? How well are you going to do that? Team building. You will face that challenge where you're going to realize you can't do it all. And it'll come down to how well you build a team. Next, vision. Casting a vision that others want to belong to. Casting a vision where I want to be a part of. You constantly casting a vision that I can be a part of it a year, three years, five years, 10 years, 20 years down the line. And my own selfish goals and desires can become a reality based on the effort I want to put in. But based on the vision, you keep casting that everybody around you believes because you keep getting closer and closer and closer to that vision. If you cannot cast the vision, you're going to lose the best type of talent if you don't know how to cast the vision. Next, you will be lonely. I put a song here, only the lonely. You will be lonely. There will be many lonely nights. There will be many days where you're going to sit there by yourself saying, I don't really know if this is going to work out. There will be many days you have no one, no one to call, no family, no friend, no girlfriend, no, no husband, no wife, no mom, grandma, grandpa. No one for you to call because you can't complain to any of them because you decided to become an entrepreneur. They never forced you to become an entrepreneur. You decided. So you call them. The last thing you want to hear is what? I told you not to do it. It's going to be a tough phone call. So there's going to be many lonely nights, lonely mornings, lonely decision-making process, lonely Sundays, lonely Saturdays. Next, tax and lawyers. You are now paying taxes on a new code as an entrepreneur. You will need a CPA that knows how to transition you from W-2 to being an entrepreneur. You will need lawyers to protect you from business. How do I structure the company? LLC, C-Corp, S-Corp. You know, do, is this a limited liability partnership? How am I going to, am I doing a real estate partnership with a group of, how am I setting this up? You're going to need lawyers and taxes, which means you're going to speak to CPAs and lawyers in ways you've probably never dealt before, and they're going to tell you some stuff that you've never heard before, where in many cases you're going to sit there, act like you know what you're talking about, but you have no clue what they're saying, and you kind of don't want them to think that you don't know because they'll charge you more, but you need to ask, I don't understand. Can you please explain this to me? You will face this. That's inevitable. Next, 
You will wear many different hats. You're just going to. You're going to be a salesperson one day. You're going to clean the room one day. One day, no one's cleaned the kitchen. You got to do it. No one's putting the stuff in the files. You got to do it. You got to answer the phone sometimes. You got to get back to a text that you probably shouldn't be getting back to as a CEO, but you need to because you're wearing many different hats. You're going to do design. You're going to do what the website looks like. You may do social media. You may do the posting. No one knows this because you're wearing many different hats and you're going to have to go through it as a person who starts a business. Next, I'm going to knock you out. You know what this is? You're going to deal with people that want to put you out of business. And you're going to say, how brutal is this? You can't be this cold. It's the world of business. You're taking a piece of business away from them. They want to put you out of business. So you're going to have a lot of competition that are going to do whatever they can to, that they can put you out of the business. Next one here is a lifestyle change. This is difficult for a lot of people. Let me explain. You're accustomed to going out on Friday nights and Saturday nights and Thursday night ladies night and maybe sleeping in a little bit and maybe working five o'clock. You come home, you watch all the games, all the playoff games, all the soccer matches, all the football games. You get every one of those things because it's your lifestyle. Your boys call you on Friday night because you have this one spot you go to. Saturday night is your favorite three lounges that you go to. Sunday you have a spot you go to from 8 o'clock to 1 o'clock in the morning. You go to sleep at 1.30 so you can get some rest to wake up at 7 o'clock in the morning. You have all your spots that you do. Let me prepare you. All this is going to change. Your relationship with some of your friends is going to change. Your daily habits is going to change. Some of the people you were hanging out with before, it's going to change. Some of the places you used to go to before, it's going to change. Generally, this most people cannot handle because they want the they want to win big as an entrepreneur and become a hero and celebrity and all this stuff, but they want to keep this lifestyle. So it's almost like they're not letting go of this to go get this. You have to let go of the lifestyle. And if you can't let go of this lifestyle, if you cannot wear multiple hats, if you cannot understand that competition is going to want to put you out of business, if you don't pay attention to tax on law, if you don't realize you're going to be lonely, if you don't constantly cast a vision, build a team, process issues, Know that you don't have a lot of time left with the savings that you have, the capital that you have, and the fact that you need to eventually sacrifice your salary, the cushion, the warm, fuzzy feeling of a steady salary coming in, then you're going to have a very hard time as an entrepreneur, and I highly recommend it. You don't do anything to become an entrepreneur. You stay as an employee. So, with that being said, these are the 10 things every entrepreneur will face. These 10 challenges every entrepreneur will face. And if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Click on the button here and click on the alert to be one of the first to receive the videos and be part of the notification squad. And if you got any other challenges that I did not mention in this video today, comment on the bottom and share with us your challenges. And if you're facing any of these challenges right now, let us know which challenge you're currently in as an entrepreneur. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.